In this question, a metallic disc of radius a mounted on a slender axle is rotating with a constant angular velocity omega inside a long solenoid of inductance L whose two ends are connected to the rotating disc by two brushes contact as on the figure. One contact is here and one contact is here. The total resistance of the whole circuit is capital R which is this resistance. A small magnetic disturbance can initiate the growth of an induced electromotive force across the terminals P and Q. So these are the two terminals. One terminal is at the edge of the disc and other terminal is at the center of the disc. So this line is important, a small magnetic disturbance. So a small magnetic disturbance that means a small magnetic field is here which can be in form of earth's magnetic field also. So in some way or other there is some small magnetic field or disturbance is here which can be used to initiate the growth of an induced electromotive force that is EMF across the terminals P and Q. And we are required to find some parts, there are 6 parts. So this is a question from APHO 2009 and this is labeled as a self excited magnetic dynamo. So this is self word is used here. So let us see how this is working. तो अगर एक स्मॉल मैग्नेटिक फील्ड यहाँ पे किसी फॉर्म में अगर यहाँ पे लगाया जाता है तो ड्यू टू दैट स्मॉल मैग्नेटिक फील्ड एंड सिंस दिस डिस्क इज रोटेटिंग एंड अगर डिस्क रोटेट कर रही है एंड देर इज अ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड हियर तो ड्यू टू दैट मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इन दिस रोटेटिंग डिस्क देर विल बी एम एफ इंड्यूस्ड तो इस रॉड इस डिस्क के अंदर देर विल बी एम एफ इंड्यूस्ड एंड ड्यू टू दैट ई एम एफ इट विल बिहेव लाइक आर एल सर्किट इट विल बिहेव लाइक अ रेजिस्टेंस इंडक्टर सर्किट RL circuit and current will try to grow in this uh, solenoid which is the inductor. So current will try to grow in this inductor and if current tries to grow and if current uh, wants to flow in this inductor then due to that current this solenoid produces a magnetic field. So solenoid ki vase bhi magnetic field create hoga aur us magnetic field ki vase se bhi there will be EMF induced aur wo jo EMF induce hoga yaha pe wo EMF induce Definitely magnetic field. Solenoid में कितना magnetic field उस पर depend करेगा और magnetic field in the solenoid will depend on current and current is growing here. Current is growing here. So in the first part you have to write down the differential equation for the current through the circuit and we have to express our answer in terms of L, R and induced EMF. So this is the induced EMF. Okay. So it is simply an RL circuit, some simply like this. This is a simply RL circuit like this. So this is the inductor and this is the resistance and this is some EMF induced let's say. So if I write the loop equation for this, so it will give me, uh, suppose current is I, so L di by dt across this and across this resistance it is, suppose I am going like this so it is minus L di by dt and this is minus IR and this is plus E this is equal to 0. So this uh, induced EMF, I can write the equation like this L di by dt plus IR. So this is the induced EMF and induced EMF we are just taking because of the current in this solvent. The solvent is current flow, so we are taking induced EMF. The current that we are taking to excite and initiate the magnetic field lagai gaya tha, that was very very small. So we are not including that in induced EMF calculation. So what is the value of magnetic flux density in terms of this and permeability free space mu naught? We have to ignore the magnetic field generated by the disc and the axle. So there will be some current in this uh, disc. So we are going to ignore magnetic field created by that disc. So magnetic field, what is the magnetic field here? So magnetic field will be due to this solenoid. We will take magnetic field due to this solenoid. So in question number two. This magnetic field is due to solenoid and if current is I at some time t if current is I then this magnetic field is mu naught into a small n into I a small n is current uh, a small n is number of turns per unit length. So it is mu naught total number of turns divided by the length of the solenoid L into I. So this is the magnetic field due to solenoid. And the next part is what is the expression for the induced DMF. So induced DMF as I said we are just considering the magnetic field due to this solvent only. So in question number 3, so induced EMF. So if a disc is rotating, 
if a disc is rotating then across these two points center and this edge there will be induced DMF and the formula for that induced DMF is half B omega into distance square L square and here the distance will be equal to the radius so it is simply so EMF induced will be equal to this EMF is half B B is mu naught n i divided by l this is half b omega into this a square so this is the emf induced now question number four solve the question number one for current at any time t in terms of the initial current so initial current is given as some i is zero and some other parameters so the equation from question number one is l di by dt plus ir this is equal to the induced emf and induced dmf i can write as we have written for the part 3 it is equal to half b b is mu naught n i by l this is mu naught half b omega into this a square so it will be a differential equation and this differential equation will be of this type l di by dt and here we have i into r and here we have also i so you can take i as common and if you take i as common so this will become mu naught n omega a square divided by this 2l minus r and uh, i am assuming this constant as k suppose this is equal to k so it is l di by dt is equal to ik now you can just solve it like this di upon i it is di upon i this is uh, <coughs> equal to uh, this is k by l dt this is k by l dt just integrate on both the sides so i am assuming this to be some i naught and let's say this current is i so if you integrate this then you can easily get it like this i is equal to i naught e raised to power k t by l and here k is what k is this mu naught n omega a square divided by this 2l minus r so on this k on this k value of k it will depend uh, that this i will be a decreasing function exponential decreasing function or exponential increasing function so if k is negative here so i exponentially decreases it is exponentially decreasing function if k is positive then i is always increasing it is exponentially increasing function okay so this is the i as a function of time in question number five it is asked that what is the minimum value of the angular velocity that will permit the current to grow so current here grow kar sake for that this e raised to power should be a positive power it should be positive and for that k should be positive okay as we have discussed in the previous part so this k should be positive and for this k should be positive we can calculate it like this for omega so this is mu naught n omega a square divided by 2l this should be greater than r and uh, this is omega greater than 2l r divided by mu naught n a square so this is the required critical value of omega and beyond that this k will be positive and this function is an increasing function current here will always grow so in this way the disk dynamos are very high angular velocities so for that high angular velocity it is self sustaining it is self exciting in order to maintain a certain steady angular velocity omega what must be the value of torque applied to the axle at the instant t so in a particular time pe, जो यहां पे टॉर्क अप्लाई करना होगा वो टॉर्क यहां पे कितना होगा दैट वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट इन दिस पार्ट सो लेट अस फाइंड द टॉर्क सो लेट अस डॉ द डायग्राम ऑफ द डिस्क सो डिस्क विल बी समथिंग लाइक दिस दिस इज द डिस्क एंड वी नो दैट द टॉर्क द फोर्स एंड टॉर्क ड्यू टू द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड विल अपोज द मोशन विल अपोज द मोशन सो सपोज इफ आई एम अज्यूमिंग द करंट इज फ्लोइंग लाइक दिस इन द डिस्क दिस इज द सेंटर एंड दिस इज द एज so between these two point current let's say flowing like this in the disk and due to this current there will be a amperian force and this amperian force will be i l b i length is a and magnetic field is b b i can put mu naught n i and this is i a b and what is the torque so this force can be assumed to be acting at the midpoint because uh, this force is uniformly distributed across this length so along this length so torque is equal to i a b multiplied by a by 2 so this is the torque so it is i a square by 2 into b 
so the external torque should be applied opposite to this because magnetic field will definitely oppose this so we have to apply this much torque and for b i can put b can be sorry b can be written as this is mu naught n i n is n by l so this torque is mu naught n a square divided by 2l into this i square and i as a function of time we already know so we can put this function like this mu naught n a square divided by 2l so i as a function of time is some i initial square it will be e raised to power 2 kt by l it will be 2 kt by l so this is going to be the answer for the torque.